In this video, we're going to demonstrate the switch height plan display tools that are located under the uh, view geometry commands. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the geometry, view geometry, switch height plan. You can see we have different modes that we can set for displaying uh, different types of diagrams. So we can set the mode to plan, and this is going to display and annotate plan only, which is going to include our horizontals and our turnouts. We can set the mode to plan and diagrams. This is going to display our, our plan, station diagram, and profile diagram. So it would display our horizontal annotation, turnout annotation, station diagram and profile diagram. And we can have the mode set to chord offset diagram, which is going to display the chord offset diagram. Okay, so first off, let's let's show the plan display. So I'm going to set the mode to plan. And for the reference alignment, the reference alignment controls the stationing against which all of the selected alignments uh, are going to be measured. So for our horizontal regression, this is our main alignment. So and then for our, under our horizontal alignments, I'm going to include all of our alignments that are associated in that same geometry project. So I'm going to annotate horizontal regress against that same alignment. I'm going to annotate my right track, which is a parallel track. And then I have two turnouts placed that are turnout 1-2 uh, and turnout 3-4. So I'm going to include all these options. So I'm going to come over to the settings, and the settings depict what gets annotated and what value. So I'm going to display the horizontal elements. I'm going to annotate those elements. I want to annotate on the inside of curves only. Okay, and for the turnouts, I want to display turnout annotation. And what controls this is over here under the, the horizontals and the turnout leaf. So if I come over to horizontals, this is the annotation. So this is what gets annotated when the settings is selected on for the horizontal elements to show. So we're going to be annotating the linear length and the radius of our curves and our circular length of our curves. And then if we have an applied cant, it's going to annotate our cant as well. And then for our turnouts, we're going to display our name. And then we're going to put points along the point 0.1, point 0, point 0.2, and point 0.3 points on our turnout. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit apply. And, we, and if we look in our plan, and we're going to come down here, and we're, let's focus on the area down here where we have our turnouts. You can see that it's displayed annotation. Uh, so this turnout is a E49 uh, 190 radius with a 1 to 9 ratio. So you can see that the radius R equals 190. Uh, the can't have zero can't applied. Uh, I'm in a uh, I'm actually in a, a tangent section, so I have zero cant. And as you come along, then you can see uh, behind this text here, we have a length of 6.09. For this, there's a linear section here. There's also a linear section here for the connection that's 12.05. So it's annotating all these values. Um, it's displayed the name, turnout 2, and you can see that it's that we've displayed our points for our turnout points. So let's move on and, and let's just do our, uh, our plan and our diagrams. Uh, so we can turn on plan and diagrams, and this is going to display the same that we did before, horizontals and turnouts. But this is also going to do give us a station diagram and a profile diagram. So if we look under our station diagram, this is going to give us certain values for how our points are going to be annotated inside of this diagram that appears in um, where we where we select the placement. Okay, so the distance between alignments, uh, this is if we have multiple alignments, it allows us to display the, the station values for each one. Uh, so we're going to get it. We're going to get station values for each alignment, including our turnouts. Uh, and then it's going to give us an interval. Of, or we're doing an interval of 100 meters. And then for our profile diagram, we're going to show our vertical lines as, as green. Um, then if we have left rail is yellow and right rail is going to be red. And we don't actually have any rails in this one, so we're not going to see those values. But, um, but we'll get our vertical lines. 
And this will also give us our um, uh, certain annotation, like our grades and our lengths uh, and can't. Uh, and then for our profile display, we have a, um, we can set up our intervals uh, and our plan to profile diagram offset. So when we place this plan diagram, we can orient this plan in, in whatever direction we want. And it's going to place a profile based on an offset from where we place that plan diagram. So I'm putting in a value of 700 where it places that profile up above the plan display. And I'm applying a vertical exaggeration uh, mainly because this, this job's only uh, got an elevation range of, um, of about, uh, about 11 meters. Uh, so we want to kind of expand that to make it look a little bit, a little bit easier. Okay, so let's select apply. So identify first point. So this is going to be sort of like a hinge point on where it's going to hinge our, our display. Then we have identify second point. As you can see, if we follow the same direction of our, uh, of our job, you can see that it, it, it parallels and it's like a copy, but we can orient this in, in more of an east to west or left to right display. So I'm going to left click to identify the second point, and I'm going to left click again to accept. And what you see out here now is we have our plan. This is our plan display that's oriented left to right. We have alignments. So we're going to have uh, the first alignment here is going to be our horizontal regression. That was the first in the list. We have turnouts that are displaying. This is turnout one. This is the stationing. This is turnout two. And then this is my right track alignment. And up above that, we have our profile display. So you can see that we have our, our alignments for our different uh, for our different geometry. So we're going to go. Um, so this is our. Uh, this alignment here is our horizontal regression alignment. Then we have our right track. We have um, an alignment that has a, a transition for a turnout. And so it, it imposes all vertical alignments onto this one profile display. Okay. So that's, that's mainly uh, the settings for the plan and the, the profile and stationing. And that concludes the video on the switch height plan command.